All right, so here I am in our brand new greenhouse and I just wanted to show you the coolest little gadget that we got ever. So if you follow any of our YouTube or TikTok videos, um, we purchased a house that needed a lot of work, a lot of remodels, a lot of work done on the yard. And so we've been doing lots of projects throughout. So one of our projects is building a greenhouse. And um, we got our, the, I'm inside the greenhouse now. It was a lot of work and it's kind of windy, so bear with me here as it, the wind's blowing the open door. But our next problem, our next big issue we had was water, water, getting water to the greenhouse. So our backyard currently only has one spigot, um, like a, a little handheld open spigot for our property, other than what's a, the two that are attached to the house. Eventually, we will tap into that line or we'll put in eventually a couple more spigots. Um, but at the same time we do that, we're going to be putting in sprinklers and, you know, you got to dig trenches and there's a lot to do for that. Let's see. Hope I'm not covering the mic there. I just realized. So there's a lot of work to do to put in the new water lines and the trenches and all that. But we didn't want to just not have a garden or a greenhouse or plant fruit trees or whatever this year. So we're improvising and that's where today's little project comes in. Solar powered drip system. Okay, seriously, this thing is the coolest. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'll show you how it works. And then in the video, in the description below, you can get a link to this exact solar set that we have. We are loving it, totally worth every penny. So let me flip it around, I'll show you how it works. All right, so here is our water pump slash timer for our drip system. So you can have it set on the intervals of how long it'll do, like one, two, four, clear up to I think like 30 minutes at a time for your watering time. Your interval time is how often it will turn on. So right now we have our set to water for five minutes every 12 hours. Okay, so this is powered, woo, it is windy all of a sudden. This is powered by this solar panel right here. So, woo, here comes the wind. It was not windy when I first came out here. Let's just pick it up. So this actually has a built-in battery. It's a battery, a timer, and a water pump all built in here. So that connects to the solar panel. And then it's got a couple things here. Sorry, we gotta put the box away still. This, we have just, this is just a 55 gallon drum, uh, just standard, it is a food grade one. And um, we have, we have it full of water. And so what we have is on this side, this is the sensor, this came with the kit. This is the water sensor, so it tells how much water. And it actually will beep if it gets, if the drum gets low on water, it'll beep and tell you to fill it up. This is the hose that it sucks the water out of. So it comes in there in the water pump and then this is the hose that it comes to and we have this greenhouse so here is all our plants and the hose that goes along and um, and then we have it pinched at the end but then you have the little offshoots and these have drippers now we actually ordered more drippers for like the last six because we ran out but the drippers are these little blue things right here and the white stuff, by the way, is just diatomaceous earth. If you're like, what is the white stuff all over her tomato plants? That's diatomaceous earth. It's great to keep pests away. Um, so it, the hose is just attached to this little dripper that goes down in next to each plant. And we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 41. 41 plants in the grow beds, plus we have these two pots that have jalapenos in them. And we had them on the top shelf, but the incline, it wasn't pushing the water up, so we had to move them down. And we might end up doing something, we might end up taking this this top shelf off here, just as they grow and things, we'll, we'll have to adjust that. But the hoses, it was too much of an incline to get really enough water to them. But, uh, and that's just, again, tapped off 
at the end here and splits to two hoses up there. So there you have it. Our solar powered drip system and we're good to go between the greenhouse extending our growth and our grow period and then the solar powered drip system. We're estimating we will only need to fill this barrel probably once a week, maybe even once every two weeks. And um, we could, it tells you how much water it pumps out per minute. We could figure it out, sit down and do the math. We just haven't yet. Um, but anyhow, this is so awesome. Now this is the bigger set. There, There's two sizes available of this solar powered pump, um, solar powered drip system. This is the larger one. It's a 10 watt. There is a, I think a two watt and a one watt available. Um, we've actually thought about getting the smaller ones for our fruit trees and I'm thinking we will. So there you have it. <laughs> I love it so much. So this one is a lot smaller. We only needed it for five fruit, five fruit trees and three artichoke plants. So let me show you the setup. And this one's a little bit cheaper, a little smaller. If you're wanting to just try it out, I think with the coupon, it made it around $35 or something. Totally worth it. Try it. Here's the setup. Okay, so here is the system. So the smaller one has everything built in the solar panel. So let's see if I can get in here. Behind the solar panel, oh, if you can see underneath those I don't know how well you can see them. Anyhow, there's buttons here that are the timers. Um, so this has behind this has the pump, the timer and the battery all here all built in. So this is a small one. The other one had a separate, the bigger one has a separate solar panel and then the pump timer and um, battery is, is a separate unit. So the smaller one, it's just all contained, which is kind of nice. Now we're going to get another 55 gallon drum, but for now we have this, um, the, just a five gallon water cause these won't take as much water as the others either. So hopefully we can get a 55 gallon drum in the next couple of days and we'll replace it. But we have this, this cord, this, this, uh, you can see down inside these two, uh, tell the water level. And this other one is the filter for the pump. And then we've got now the smaller one only has, whoo, I go downhill the smaller one only has one hose size and so which actually made it a little easier for my husband he just brought it down and then he's pulled it over and he's we've got a dripper at each plant so we've got our artichoke plants that we put here we got to do some filler soil I'd like to between them but and then he's run it down now the trees I asked him to put two drippers because the trees will need a little bit more water and I, I was looking at it this morning and I might even have him put a third dripper at each tree. But we have the five trees along the fence here. These are all apple trees. And um, so this solar power drip system waters them. Right now we have it set. The, the smaller one only has the options of every 12 hours or 24 hours. And it gives you the options of five minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes and I think maybe an hour. Anyhow, some, it's, it's a little less less options. So 12 hours or 24 hours and the minute increments uh, are a little, you have a little less of the options than you do the big one, but it's still fine. We have, so we have it set for 15 minutes every 12 hours. And when I came out this morning, this bucket was about half full. So it had done two and a half gallons and it had done two different waterings. And so, um, so we got about a one and a quarter gallon each time at waters. So not too bad. We might, and so we might need to kick it down a notch. We'll, we'll kind of play it by ear and see how the plants do. And mostly I'm just worried about the trees. I don't think the artichokes are going to need a whole lot, but I do want to make sure those apple trees get plenty of water. Um, I think somebody said about five gallons of water per week is what they need. So, uh, for each tree. So Anyhow, there's our system. I'll put the link to this solar drip system in the video description, uh, or you can go check out my review and links and everything like that on my blog. 
All right, here we are just a short while later. I'll have to go back and look at the dates, but um, I think it's only been about a month since we've put everything in and planted. And here's our greenhouse. Let me show you how awesome this watering system has been. All right, so we did reduce the time because we noticed a couple of our plants were getting overwatered. So instead of five minutes every 12 hours, right now I have it for five minutes every 24 hours. And you see there's a couple spots where we've pulled up plants that were just dying from overwater, but we really have done well. This is, they've been growing, everything has just thrived. And the thing I love about this solar drip system is the timer and the consistency. It is so nice because for me, I forget to water or I forget to turn off the water or whatever. So the fact that this has it all for me, the only thing, these jalapenos aren't growing very fast. I just need to see if they need more nutrients. Actually, I think they might be getting a little too much water even then because my husband put two drippers in each pot. I did split one and we'll see if I can revive this garlic or not. But um, yeah, it, that's the thing is, it's so great because it does consistent. And one thing with gardening is your plants love consistent watering and this consistent amounts and consistent times. So this solar drip system, I am loving. I'll go show you what the little one's doing. All right, and here's some progress on our little one. Now this one, everything hasn't been set up and being watered quite as long as the big one, but everything's doing just great. Um, we still need to get a 55 gallon bucket because I'm having to come and fill this one every day. But uh, right now we have it set, I think it's set for five or 10 minutes once a day. So kind of like the other ones, we kicked it back to a once a day uh, watering, but they're all doing good.